Good day YouTube, my name is Dan and welcome to another episode of CryptoLite. Recently, someone on our Telegram group brought this article to attention and it's about a partnership between Mayo Clinic, the American healthcare giant, with a blockchain company that's called Medical Chain to pilot an array of different projects, starting with a decentralized secure patient database. In this stage of early blockchain technology, any blockchain project with a real use case and a partnership with a giant enterprise is definitely worth checking out. And when I looked up Medical Chain as a project, I was very surprised to find them at a the very low market cap of less than $12 million, only $11.7 million, and they are currently sitting at 388 on the coin market cap ranking. So that's a very small coin. In fact, as a token, they are at the all-time low, down from 70% of their all-time high. Despite the big news of Mayo Clinic partnership less than a week ago, the coin has a very negative price action, and that's not because of the coin as a project, that's because of the recent market crash. But at the ranking of 388 and a market cap of only 11.7 million, I do think that this project is very undervalued and potentially a hidden gem. And that's why I wanted to introduce this coin to you, medical chain to learn more about medical chain keep watching this video according to a research by john hopkins university the third leading cause of death after heart disease and cancer is actually medical errors medical errors example prescribing the wrong medication accounts for more deaths than accidents stroke diabetes pneumonia or suicide the reason why medical errors are so prevalent is not because of the incompetence of doctors, but because of the information that they receive. Medical institutions work in silos. For example, a patient's family doctors may know that he has an allergy to a medication. But if that patient was unconscious and admitted to a hospital, the hospital doctors may not know his allergies and they could administer the wrong medication. Medical practices do not share their information and so the scattered pieces of patients' data often result in poor and bad medical decisions. Now imagine if we had a healthcare system where the whole healthcare system had a common and secure database. Every party involved in the patient's care, from the local doctor to the hospitals to the pharmacies, even the insurance companies and telehealth consults could have access to the same complete health profile of a patient. How much easier and safer would communication be? Furthermore, because medical chain is a blockchain project and decentralized, the data is secure. Currently, medical institutions spend thousands to millions of dollars each year to secure patients' information securely. The health profile of any individual is worth more than 10 times their credit card on the black market. Furthermore, it's not just about stealing the information, it's also about changing or modifying the information. Insurance for today is estimated to cost more than $40 billion annually. The best medical data storage services currently are all cloud servers. Cloud servers will store the information on the cloud that is monitored by a central server. However, cloud storages are still centralized, meaning that there is a single point of hacking for a hacker to access not just a few, but huge amounts of patients' data. This has happened several times in history recently. Cloud servers keep trying to update their security features and hackers will keep trying to come up with new and creative ways to hack the system. It is not a permanent or secure solution at all. The safest and most secure technology in the world currently to store data is through blockchain, where the information is decentralized and literally unable to be hacked. Blockchain doesn't just provide um, a decentralized source, it also means that the data cannot be modified or lost. Furthermore, as an additional layer of security and privacy, Medical Chain as a project will also encrypt all the information and make it such that only the individual, the patient himself, is in full control of his data. Ownership of personal data is a growing concern today. Patients often tell their doctors things that they wouldn't even confide in their own family members. But do you know that when you go to a hospital and a medical profile is created for you, that personal information of yours belongs to the hospital and not to you? So for example, after you were discharged from the hospital, if you went back 
to requesting to read your hospital notes, you would have to go through a lengthy process of applying for freedom of information and permission from the hospital before your notes will be granted to you. On contrary, a new intern on the hospital could have unlimited access to your most personal information 24-7 without your permission. This can happen because the information does not belong to you but belongs to the hospital. But with medical chain, your personal information belongs completely to you and health professionals can only access it with your permission. That, I believe, is the way it should be. I'm going to show you now a short clip from the company's official trailer to help you have a glimpse of how this technology will work on the ground. With Medical Chain, you have full access and control over your own personal health data. Users are able to grant doctors immediate access to their health record via their mobile device. So there you have it. That's how the project will run. Very easy to use and the patient has full control of the data at all times. I really like that. In terms of the actual blockchain structure, Medical Chain will be employing a dual blockchain structure using both Hyperledger and Ethereum. Hyperledger as a network is permission-based and also very confidential, flexible, and scalable. It suits handling medical information very well as it provides the privacy that is required for the sensitive data. Having multiple layers of permission also means that patients are now able to control what parts of their data is released or accessed by which doctors. Ethereum will be used to manage all the accounts and transactions um, for the tokens. It is suitable for the task because it uses a smart contract. As a blockchain, Ethereum is transparent and secure. This rather complicated looking diagram really represents the encryption cryptography. For those who are more technically inclined, you can examine this further in detail and it's found in your white paper. But a simple summary of this table is it con it means that all patients' data will be stored on a secure data store and only a hash of that data is then stored on the blockchain ledger. Decryption of the data can only be done by the patient's private key, so not even medical chain staff can see that information. There are some medical conditions where a patient may not be in the position to grant permission. This could involve conditions like epilepsy where people get seizures or a heart attack where they may become unconscious. Medical chain have actually developed their own hardware bracelet that patients can wear for emergencies so that in the case of an emergency, two specially authorized doctors in an emergency department could agree to access that data in the best interest of the patient. And even so, not the whole data, everything about the patient will be available. Only the information that is related to the emergency will be accessible. This concept of wearing a medical bracelet is actually a common practice already for patients who suffer from chronic illnesses like epilepsy where they know they may need medical attention uh, at any point. However, the bracelets these days is just a printed piece of paper with a list of their allergies and maybe their medications. And it's very little information. So a bracelet like this would be so much more informative. My only negative comment is that the bracelet doesn't really look very attractive. I don't know if I would wear this bracelet everywhere I go, but hopefully in future developments, they will release a more aesthetically appealing accessory. The software running the program will be very easy to install and is available to use on both computers as well as mobile phones, as you saw in the video clip earlier. As long as that there is internet access, the technology can be used. There will be no need for paper documents if a service was to use medical chain. Now, besides launching their own um, medical data storage and security, Medical Chain will also be a platform to develop their own medical services or apps. The first application that they have created is called uh, a telemedicine service by the name of My Clinic. In this application, patients do not need to leave their homes to see a doctor. They can simply book and do a teleconference or a teleconsultation and chat with the doctor over a video call. The doctor will also have access to their medical data from the medic uh, medical chain blockchain and can treat them accordingly. Now, obviously, telemedicine cannot be used for all situations, but it can be very helpful for follow-up appointments and simple reviews. It would save both the health system as well as patients a great deal of time and money. This application, MyClinic, will soon be more than a concept. It will soon be a working product. 
The Groves Medical Group in London will be the first medical group in the UK to pilot the MyChain application in July of 2018. That's only a few days away. And they will also accept cryptocurrency as a payment. The Groves Medical Group is a big organization with over 30,000 patients registered under them, and they are also under the NHS system. For those who are not familiar with the term, NHS is the National Health System, or the, which is the National Health Funding System for the UK, and medical chain is compliant and compatible with them. Recently, Forbes in an article outlining 30 plus real examples of blockchain technology in practice also listed medical chain as one of their chosen examples. So between Mayo Clinic in America, Gross Medical Group in London, and now a favorable Forbes article, this project is gaining some serious use and traction. This is the team behind the project. The CEO is actually a doctor who works in the medical field and is aware of the problems faced on the ground. The rest of the team come from various backgrounds, business, legal, communications, web security, and of course, developers and engineers. It's a big team that's well balanced in their roles and quite a few of their members have a lot of experience in their respective fields. On the whole, they come across as a solid and intelligent team. The significance of this whole project being driven by a doctor is that it is clinically led. So many blockchain projects today are technically led by developers who have no real idea of what the businesses or medical or supply chain enterprises really need. And that's really one of the biggest barriers to mass adoption of blockchain. So this project was developed by a doctor who saw a problem in the medical field and came up with a solution for it. It's very practical and that's why it's working and that's why even though they are a fairly young project, less than a year old, big health institutions like Mayo Clinic and the Gross Medical Group are jumping on board. I think that the concept of this project has a lot of potential. These are their advisors. It includes consultants, physicians, blockchain pioneers and entrepreneurs, investments manager and a medical practice strategic consultant and a lawyer. Again, a very well diverse and well balanced group. This is their roadmap. It's a bit small. You may have some difficulty reading it. The main things to note from here is that the medical emergency bracelet will be introduced into the pilots in July 2018, so next month. And the rest of the third quarter will really see the pilot project being launched in China, Japan, and South Korea, so Asia. And it will also see the completion of the pilot project in the US and the UK where it's already running. So we can expect more partnerships in the Asian regions once they start doing pilot projects there. And the whole project will only fully launch or roll out in March of 2019, which is when we will see a fully functioning medical chain platform. One thing we always look at in any review is the token use. And as token investors, we are not invested in the company, we are invested in the token. So a company could succeed, but if they don't use the token, then as a token investors, we don't get good returns. So like any currency, a token value is determined by the demand. The more the token is used, the higher the demand is, and then the more valuable the token is. Here, I want to explain to you medical chain's token use is not a good or bad or a better or worse. It's just different and it's something that you should understand if you're going to invest in this project. We've reviewed quite a number of blockchain ID based projects like Ontology, The Key, etc. With those projects, every time an enterprise, for example, a bank wanted to use the personal data of the user, they would have to pay some tokens to use the data. So token use is 100% tied to the technology in those projects. With medical chain, it is different. As an example, consider the parties who will use medical chain's technology. For example, it could be a public hospital, it could be your neighborhood doctor, it could be a pharmacy, etc. In the actual consult, like the clip you saw earlier, a face-to-face -face consult between the doctor and the patient where the patient is allowing the doctor to access their information and the blockchain technology is used to extract and decrypt the data. In other projects like ontology and the key etc, um, the enterprise or the, the person who's drawing the data from the blockchain will pay a token fee to the system which is then given a, a cut of it to the user. However, in medical chain, the entire process is free and token. Uh, there is no token use. The main income for the project or token use for the project is not from the existing healthcare enterprises, 
but from their own initiatives. So the own um, new applications or services that they are offering. So for example, the current product that they're going to launch next month is the tele consultation, the telemedicine um, feature. In that service, to use the teleconsultation service, a patient will have to pay and that payment can occur in either MAT tokens or credit card or through PayPal. So people can pay with fiat, they are not um, confined or required to pay with MAT tokens. The medical service that is offered through the teleconsultation is really a medical service. It's not a use of blockchain technology. It's a medical service that you are paying with cryptocurrency. So I guess the, the difference I'm trying to outline here in this project compared to others is that with other projects, when you use the blockchain technology, you have to pay some tokens. So the token use is tied to the blockchain technology use. But in this case, when you use the blockchain technology, in, there is actually no token tied to it. The token is being used separately um, as a payment for a medical service. Now, Medical Chain is aiming to introduce more initiatives for token use. For example, they are planning to partner with a research as well as insurance company where these companies will have to pay a patient for the permission to use their data for research or insurance purposes. The patient, of course, will have full control of the data and they can choose to opt in or out of those projects. The long-term goal of this project then is to create more and more healthcare initiatives and form an ecosystem of healthcare services. Technically speaking, there is no limit to the size of the ecosystem. They could have 10 projects or a thousand projects built on it. So potentially that could be a very large use case for the tokens. However, potentially as well, because you have the option in many initiatives to either pay in fiat or crypto, you could potentially say that there is a potential for low token use case as well. The truth is we don't know how it will play out. The existing healthcare agencies, example, the clinics or hospitals who wish to join the project and use their technology, um, they will have to pay a percentage fee. A percentage fee example is if a GP charges $50 for a consult, but he uses the medical chain database, um, medical chain might take $1 of that fee. That's just a hypothetical number. Uh, the actual rates are not determined yet. It's a case by case basis. And it's also a case by case basis whether the service will have to pay in crypto or fiat, which means the service could pay in fiat and then um, the entire service has no crypto token use at all. So the token use is not very tight to the technology use, but they are building an ecosystem which has the potential for um, high token use. So it is really going to come down to how much and how fast you believe that ecosystem will grow and how many of the users or patients will choose to pay with crypto rather than fiat. Finally, rounding up with a look at the token price. The token is currently sitting at an all-time low of $0.06 cents, and that's over 70% down from their all-time high. And the fact that they have a real use case and a big enterprise partnership makes this project worth considering as an investment. From a token investor point of view, I would have liked to see more token use. There is potential for the token to have demand, especially if the ecosystem that they're trying to build takes off. But I feel that there is also potential for the token not to be used and that makes me nervous as a token investor. But as such a low market cap, it is most likely that this coin will see growth in the future. It's just whether or not it will give the biggest returns. But overall, as a concept, I love the project. I think this is a great project with a great use case. It's definitely a much needed solution to the healthcare industry. And I think that they're going to get many more partnerships, many more big partnerships moving forward. If this was a service that ever came to my area as a patient, I would definitely use it. So let us know in the comments section what you think of Medical Chain. Do you like this project or not? Are you concerned about the token use or not? As always, none of this is professional advice. This is just my own personal opinions and ramblings. Definitely do your own research and make your own decisions. Do join our Telegram chat. It's where we hear of new coins like this with great potential and we discuss and what we think of these coins. And if you have any more questions about this project as well, you can join Medical Chain's Telegram chat. They have very active admins there who will try to answer your questions. So that's it for me, guys. Have a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys with another review very soon.